gospelmusicians.com Hey, this is Jamal with gospelmusicians.com and here's my wife Arlene Hartwell. Hello. And we're coming at you. We're going to do a song that's a very popular song. Uh, a lot of people have been singing this song, so we kind of wanted to do the song for you. It's called Jesus at the Center. Um, so uh, let's get started. You ready? I'm ready. All right, so the song kind of, we'll just do a little bit of it so you kind of know what it is. So this is, we haven't done it, so this is our first time doing it. So. Uh, as we're practicing and stuff like that so you get a chance to see our mistakes and how we work through them so i'm gonna start off one more time i do it one more time What we're gonna do, I'm gonna try and give you some chords. All right, so this song, let's, before you even get started with playing the song, you have to know the mode, you have to know where you're at, you have to know, it's before you even start playing the song. So, what is the song? The song is a CCM, is it gospel? Are, are you singing a CCM song in a gospel environment? So this is this all this is important. So let me let me let me let you know why I said this. So so if we're singing Jesus at the center and we're singing at a predominantly uh, CCM type church, let's just be honest, a predominantly white church or we're singing at a predominantly gospel black church or we're singing at a middle ground church. All it all determines how you're going to play the chords. So if I'm at a if I'm at a predominantly CCM church or if I'm at a white church, all right, let me let me back up. Music pricks a person's memory bank, okay? And what I mean by that is as musicians, you hear music differently than the normal person hears music. So a normal person when they hear music, they're hearing melody, they're hearing words, and they're hearing an experience. So, for example, a normal person sitting in the congregation, if they go to a black church or a black gospel type church or a Pentecostal black church, they're used to hearing certain chords and certain chords will spark their natural memory bank. So if I sing Jesus at the center at a black church, I'm going to do something like. So what I'm saying is I can get away with playing those passing notes at a black church because their memory bank is accustomed to hearing those type of chords. Now, if I'm at a predominantly white church, I'm, 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 I got to, <laughs> so, so. Jesus at. Jesus at the center of it all. Real simple. Jesus at the center of it all. No passing notes. From beginning to the end, it will always be. It's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. Nothing else matters. So if I'm on a church like that, very simple. Then I play it right, right. And when I say simple, I mean no nines, 
hardly no sevens, maybe a seven, and you just play the regular major minor chords. That's something I can play. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, just regular three finger chords like that. Yeah. Because now check this out. Those fat chords that you would play in a gospel church will not be as anointed. And when I say not as anointed, not as received by the people because right. their memory bank of chords of how they're used to hearing music is not going to be compatible. So and so it would actually be anti. You would actually draw them away from the service rather than drawing them to the service. To All right. The song. So right. you have to keep the integrity of the song. So if we're at a mixed church and uh, I consider... Uh, Israel, Martha Munizzi, those artists, they right in the middle. They got the gospel, they got the CCM, they right in the, uh, William McDowell also, right in the middle. So if we're, at, if we're at a mixed church, this is how I'm going to teach it. I'm going to teach you how to be flavorful so that you can be compatible with an all CCM type of white church or a black gospel church so both people can be happy and everybody be good. So uh, basically the song starts off... So if you don't know the number system, I do not have enough time in this video to teach you the whole number system. So that's my uh, Urban Worship Play by Ear DVD that teaches you the numbers. I'm just going to go over the numbers and I'm going to go over the chord charts and you will have to get the DVD to understand everything. Okay. So basically the song starts off one, two, three, four. That's the intro. One, two, three, four. And now what I'm doing, I'm adding the nines instead of just playing the regular chords, okay? And also, what I do a lot, I add that A suspended. It adds a real big fat flavor. And, and, and what's so cool about the suspended, you can actually, it plays such that, watch this, I'm going to play one chord, Jesus had to... Jesus had one chord. Jesus at the center of it all. I just played that whole thing with one chord. That's kind of a trick. If you don't really know a song and you're trying to back up an artist, you play these two suspendeds, the one and the five. Don't and, tell the and you can, I know, and you can kind of get away <laughs> if you get an artist that comes up and they start singing a song you never heard of and they're looking at you like you're supposed to know the song. So the one, two, three, four. So if you don't know the song and an artist is coming up to sing, you play the sus these two suspendeds and you do the one, two, three, four. Like make up a song right now. Just make up any song. Just words. Okay. Just anything. I love to be one, two, in the studio, three, four, with my husband. One. See, any, any, any slow worship song, if you don't know the song just yet, you can kind of cheat yeah. by doing a one, two, three, four. Don't tell everybody you know this. I'm just telling you that. So, Jesus at the center simply goes, Jesus, one, at the two, of it all. three. Now, I hear some people sometimes go all the way to the four. Jesus, Jesus one. No, at the, uh, the beginning, sorry. One, two, three, four. So I hear different versions of that. So you can go, you can stop at the four, you can stop at the three. So let's call these numbers out. So one, two, four, three. I'm sorry. Four, Jesus at the center one, of it all. Five. Passing tone. Beginning four, to the end. One, it will five, always be. It's six, always been five, you, four, Jesus. Back to the five. Jesus, Nothing else matters. One, two, three, else four. Matters. We can stay on the four or go to the Nothing two. To the one. Oh, one, two, three, four. Jesus, one, two, three, the four. Stay on the four. Everything revolves. Go to the six. You, 
And the five. From my heart. Stay on the five. From my heart to the head. Five. Six. Jesus be the center. Four. It's all about you. Five. Yes, it's all Stay on the five. about you. Five. From my heart to the heavens. Jesus be Black. the center. <laughs> Four. It's all about <laughs> Yes, it's all about you. Doom Brett. That's funny. All right, so I'm I'm gonna that's the whole song, that's that's all the parts of the and song, then right? At the center of okay. it all. One, two, oh, three, four. The center of it all. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's it. All right, so the the original song is in the key of A. Do not push it up to B flat. Do not push it back to A flat. If it's in A, learn it in A. Because you know why? Because you're going to go to a church and they're going to sing that song and you're going to play it in B flat. And all the musicians that are in the back, and when you're a visitor, they're going to look at you like, why are you playing the song in that key? That's so, happened to us before too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, isn't the song in this key? I'm like, sorry, we got transpose. I'm like, all right, well, just let me know what you're what you about to do. Mm -hmm. uh, quick note on transpose. Um, don't do it. Um, but... I'm not so stickler that I don't know that there is a period in your development where you're just learning how to play and you don't know how to play in every single key and you have a uh, singer that's coming up and you have to transpose for sake of the service being just jacked up. I do understand that. Uh, what I would do, I would play it jacked up in the key I don't know because that one embarrassment will keep you from ever being messed up in that key. All you need is to be embarrassed one time. Mm -hmm. And once you get embarrassed one time, I bet you go home and practice that whole week on that one key. Mm -hmm. So uh, embarrassment sometimes is your best friend. All right, so, so we are. So Jesus at the center, so we talked about it. So here's a quick way to fatten up your sound. The six, the six, instead of playing the A, the A, the A, regular A, all right. A good way to fatten up your sound is to play the A6. Really jazzy, and it can fatten it up without sounding too, too jazzy or too, too gospel. So what is the six? One, two, three. So basically this chord is a A6 over nine. So it's a regular A, but you add the six and the nine. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm sorry, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six. That's the six I added. And then the nine. One, two, three, four, five. Well, sorry. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right here. Here's is the six and the nine that I add. And this is a this is called a this is called an A6 over nine. So another really warm way to fatten up your sound without being too gospely is to do clusters. I call these clusters. You see that a lot. You see organ players play play that a lot. They just kind of fatten it up just like that. Just they fatten it up. Clusters are just cluster the uh, the whole note next to the regular note. So Jesus. Jesus be the center of my life. Now on that three, what gospel cats like to do on that three is to add that um, F. So. You know what I'm saying? Add that F on there. That's too much. You don't want to do such a Jesus be the center of my life. That's too much. That's too much. So you don't want to do that. You're kind of pulling away from the song. So you can do it, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. So Jesus be the center of my life. Now another thing you can do, which eh is eh, I don't know. Now, another way, this is a real jazzy way, this just in case you want to do it, just, just, just an option. Let's put the beat on a little bit. Ready, ready go. You can play. So, uh, right there, right there, what I did. 
So, so basically what I said is I'm in, I, once I hit this E, I'm kind of in the mode of E, so I can almost play the scale of E. So I'll play the scale. So I can play the scale of E because at that particular time I'm at the five, I have an opportunity to play the scale in E. All right, ready? Let's go. Passing. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Nah, that's, 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 uh, that's a special there. Once again, that's optional. You don't want to throw everything out there. So then, uh, uh, so, uh, start up. Jesus be the center of my life. That's if you want to get into Neo Soul. Like I said, it's optional. I'm only giving you options, but you want to stay with the integrity of the song. So we'll go out there. So let's go. Jesus be the center of my life. Oh, Jesus be the center of my life. From beginning to the end, it will always and watch be. This. It's always been you, Jesus. So go, go, go. It's been. Yeah, yeah. So we go. Been you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So it's always been. So try. It's all always been you, Jesus. So, so that's that's when you work stuff out. What this is is a uh, it's a major nine. Actually, this is an eleven. You, Jesus. 11. So, so let's try it again with that same note, the bend off. You from the beginning, Jesus? Yeah. Okay. So, Jesus be the center of my life. Jesus be the center of my life. Gospel. From beginning to the end, it will always be. It's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Jesus be the center of my life. life. Try to sound so sing. Life. life. Yeah, yeah. So we just add, we just playing around with it. Just letting you know some options. Once again, you know we are sticklers to the integrity of the song. We're not trying to take the service away. We just want to give you options if you want to do something different to the song. Because we already know the song is pretty easy. Just majors, majors, minors. We want to do something different if you want to jazz it up, depending on what kind of church you're at. So, A jazz church? I mean, jazz it up at the church. <laughs> so, so, so. Jesus be the center of my life. Be the gospel way. Whoa, Jesus, be the center of my life. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. So, all right, so. That note. The friends, friends, friends in the scale, fours and sixes are friends. So anytime you're doing a four, you can always kind of do a six. Sixes. They're friends. At the center of it all. Alright, so alright, so four we're gonna have to mix that one. Anyway, fours and sixes are your friends. So anytime you want to hit the four, you can hit the six in moderation. Alright, so uh, we said nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Here we go. Jesus, you're the Four, six, two. 
Back to the six. From my, from my, from my, from my heart, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus will be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about now, you. Now, right here, to add more feel, to add more feel to it. What you want to do is you can mimic the melody line with your chords. How do you do that? So from the heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. Turn. Okay. So you're still playing the chords. So, so basically, you you stay on the you stay on the chords, but you mimic the melody. So, so that kind of adds. So you come come in and out with the melody. What? So, so, let's get, uh, let's get, uh, we were going a little fast. Yeah. From my heart. From my heart to the hands, Jesus be the center, it's all about you. Minimalist. Yes, it's all about you. What uh, we did a little vamp. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. How do you combine neo soul with with within the context of gospel stuff? We're kind of doing that. We we took what the vamp would have been. The vamp would have been this. Then we took the liberty. Keep going that.
classic. I ain't doing that special. Not Neil So would be. For more fat clips, go to gospelmusicians.com.